Are we live, Ranger? Are we live? Are we live? Oh my goodness, we're live with the outro show, and it says Pokemon Battle Revolution RDA. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> hey. Hi, I'm Ty Kevin eighty three. I've been doing your PR on socials and RDA. Hi, I'm RDA. You may or may have saw me do PBR like two seconds ago. Maybe I don't know. So we're we're very sorry for the rushed layout here at the end. We were not uh, on our game with how soon the marathon ended. So uh, the, the <laughs> we have the classic Ty Kevin eighty three. Uh, crazy background uh with with some stuff not fully filled out here but uh yes follow us on twitch pokemon speedruns tv as you see in the bottom here follow us on youtube at pokemon speedruns psr but also if you didn't know there has now this year been a psr instagram instagram.com slash pokemon speedruns and there has been a oh, what's up? I'm not fix that. <laughs> oh no! What what a disaster! So, uh, but yes, that's the Instagram linked in the chat, and there is also now a Pokemon speedruns subreddit where you can find. All the same wonderful social posts we've been doing from the Instagram and the Twitter. So whether you're a fan of Reddit, Twitter, Instagram, whatever it is, thank you so much for following us. Check out uh, continuing content on the socials as we wrap the marathon. Now, uh, Ranger, did you get to watch much of the marathon? So what it is. historically, I believe Amoeba has had trouble actually finishing a run of Pokemon Emerald any percent in the marathon. That is because the crucial trick to finish Pokemon Emerald any percent has a one in 32 chance of working. So you have to do all the previous glitches correctly and then pray that uh, the. Uh, um the one in 32 glitch works after all of that. So what, what Amoeba did for this marathon was they did a race of three people and two of the three people, well, actually there was supposed to be four even, but well, the fourth person's internet died. So they were down to three people from the bat. And then two of the three people were able to successfully finish the any percent run live in the marathon. So that is a new first for PSR marathons, getting to see a completed uh, completed any percent run of Emerald. Interesting. Also, hi everyone. I'm Ranger Squid. I'm now audible on the stream. <laughs> For the last uh, few minutes of the outro, I have not been audible. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Another anyway. highlight. Uh, yes. So we've been uh, fixing some wonderful uh, range enough technical difficulties, but another thing we wanted to. Uh, Highlight on the outro show was Wan Lee Ways' amazing Pikachu's Beach exposition in Pokemon Yellow. <laughs> oh, it's all good, Ranger. Uh, with uh, Wan's Pikachu's Beach, that is a mini game that you can only do in the original Pokemon Yellow if you have the, po the Pikachu with Surf from either an event or from trading over from Pokemon Stadium. Uh, and in the virtual console, you can access the minigame 
without the access to Stadium just by using your um, original Pikachu from your save file. So, uh, Juan got to show us that very rare minigame because not many people back in the day knew about Pikachu's Beach with how difficult it was to set up all of the transfer stuff between Stadium or getting to events. So that, that was super cool as well. I didn't even know yeah. that I had heard <laughs> about it from a couple friends in the group chat, and that was the only way I really knew about it. So when Wanley put it as like the marathon submission, I'm like, oh, he's doing that run. Okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I really wish I had seen that, honestly. It would have been really, really fun to see. <laughs> Same. And plus, I... it's Wanley ways. I mean, yeah, we we do love Wanley ways, as you could have seen from our, our Instagram post yesterday, too. <laughs> So, uh, RDA, do you want to recap for us, uh, having finished off the marathon, what your experience was like doing the Rumble and Battle Revolution runs? Uh, I mean, it was really cool. I didn't, um, I didn't expect to get PBR in the marathon. I, I, I submit PBR as like a passion project to marathons with like the accept, like expectation of it kind of just to get it shoved aside because it's a long run a lot can go wrong. Um, but it's, it's such a passion project of mine. And I, uh, I love the game so much. So being able to run it at all was a feat, but being able to close the marathon, I've never closed a marathon before. That was, uh, I feel very like honored to do that. And I'm very thankful for you guys, like including me, um, and my, those are like pretty much rumble and PBR kind of like the only Pokemon games that I actively like consecutively play. Mm -hmm. Um, I play Pokemon really casually for the most part, but uh, I I'm such a diehard speedrunner. I've been speedrunning for um, it's it's actually been a little over 11 years now, um, and uh, I just love speedrunning so much. And my brain can't necessarily do all of the Pokemon speedrunning that I uh, I watch and consume, um, but the the few games that I like to play like Rumble and PBR, I'm able to really uh, have fun with those games. So. I'm glad that I'm able to like show my expertise and um, those very niche sides of Pokemon to you guys because it's always um, there's always some cool um, messages in chat talking about having nostalgia with the game or um, just liking the game and having seeing it having mm -hmm. it seen be on stream is like cool. Um, but this whole uh, tournament, now, this whole uh, marathon. Oh, sorry. Go on. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I totally interrupt. I, I have a question for you about Pokemon Battle Revolution because I. I read this on an IGN review like 20 years ago, whenever the game came out, like 15 years ago. And they said something like the the models used in Battle Revolution were like the same character models they had been using since the stadium games. Do you know if that's actually true? Or are they actually like newer models with each uh, Coliseum and then uh, uh, Battle Revolution? So... Um... I don't know the intricacies of that. I do know that they use <clears throat> um, previously used models um, for a lot of the like older gen Pokemon. I don't know if you could have like noticed um, during during the run, like kind of how blocky some of the Gen One or earlier Gen Pokemon looked, as opposed to the Gen Four Pokemon. Yeah, um, but if you if i were to do a run on japanese version or if you just like look at japanese content that game is earlier um but it, it's like an earlier kind of like beta quote unquote version of the game really so, okay yeah so those models are actually um ported from i i don't want to like miss say the the name of the game but it is not like textured or like fixed at all it's literally just like ported models from another from another 3d game onto pbr and that was the generation one um, pokemon like if you see any generation one pokemon on the japanese version of pbr they just look super super weird like the animation <laughs> and the little like picture of them it looks super weird <laughs> that's crazy so, yeah the older generations do use like older um models and then like kind of ref like, refine them refurbish them but um yeah i'm not sure what game it was from that's so funny. So uh, to recap, then, um, what what generation around was Rumble? Rumble, uh, they're both generation four games. But okay. um, when you're doing a regular run of any percent uh, Pokemon Rumble, you only see generation one Pokemon. 
Okay. So yeah. would you say that you kind of had like your big nostalgia for that generation four era then? Definitely. Like I, I, that's kind of when I started getting into video games was when I was, um, that I was like in, I was in fourth grade when, um, in like 2007 or eight, I think something like that. So that was like, like the peak when I was like really playing video games, had, had like all the Pokemon games whenever they were coming out. Um, and like, mm-hmm. I just remember playing PBR after work or after school <laughs> work after school. And, um, uh, Rumble was like a late bloomer for sure. I got that like a lot later than when it came out, but I remember buying it on the, um, virtual console. Cause it's, it's only available on virtual console. Um, and I just like had it on my Wii and then I kept it for a while. And then I was like, I'm gonna try speed running this. And then here I am <laughs> in 2023. <laughs> That's incredible. So yeah, I mean, I, I had a similar thing. I, I was, uh, near the end of my nostalgia. I, I think I was just started high school around gen four. So that's kind of where my nostalgia starts to taper off for Pokemon. So right, yeah. it's, that, that's cool to see though. So that, um, there were, I, I always love seeing people getting into the games newer and still having nostalgia for those uh, newer generations. That's really awesome. Yeah. So I, uh, am super excited. I want to thank all of the tech staff who have been helping arrange the marathon. I want to thank Ranger for kicking off and getting the marathon started this year. It sounds like Ranger really headed up us having a marathon this August, which is super awesome. Um, I want to thank all of our runners and our commentators. I want to thank all of the people behind all the runs. I know there's tons of people who don't necessarily do runs, but who do research investigation. Blue Magma uh, talked about all sorts of y'all who were critical to finding the new things with uh, Ruby and Sapphire any percent. So I want to thank everybody in the background doing routing for all these categories. I want to thank all of our PR staff this year and all of the wonderful progress we've had uh, breaking out away from just being on Twitter. And yeah, uh, you guys have any more comments before we wrap for the day? Um, yeah, just thank you all seriously for watching. It's been wonderful seeing just like, despite a very late start to the marathon announcements, we still had so many people watching this the whole time, and it's just been really nice and really awesome to see and lastly butterfree will return next year i guarantee it (laughs) let's go that's great all right once again thank you from everyone in pokemon speedrunning and that's a wrap for pokemon speedrun marathon 2023